the last thing we're going to talk about this week and for the class as a whole is once you've determined that um, either a serial has ceased or it's changed titles and a new record is acquired, how do you close out a record for either a ceased serial or uh, a record where a new record for the new title has been created? Here are the things that you need to do in order to close out a record to have it be considered a ceased serial. In the 008, meaning the fixed field, that publication status code that we talked about before, this should be coded as D. Remember, D stands for dead. Um, also in the fixed field, you need to change the ending date. Um, and if you have the last issue in hand and you know what the ending year is, um, go ahead and fill out all four digits. If you just know that it ceased in a particular decade, fill out the first three digits and put a U at the end. And if you just know the century, put the first two digits and put UU for the end. Um, in the 264 field, the publication date, you would close the date range if there had, was an open date range in that field. Um, same thing in the 362 field, if that's included in your record, you would go ahead and close out the date range in that field. If this is a case where the publication didn't just end, but the title changed, or there was another major change and it, it goes on to be a new record, you would include a 785 field, which is a linking field, to link to that new record that says, hey, this publication is continued by this new publication. So here's an example of changes you would make to a ceased publication that is continued by another one with a different title. Um, in the OOH, you would change publication status to D. The changes here are highlighted in a kind of pinkish color. Um, make sure to put the closing dates in the dates in the fixed field. Close off the date range in the 264. Close off the date range in the, the 362 field. And then add the 785 field. And here, in this case, the title changed from African Languages and Culture to Journal of African Cultural Studies. Um, we'll look at the 785 in more detail a little bit later, but the title of the new serial goes in subfield T. Subfield X is for the ISSN number of this new publication, and subfield W is used for control numbers, so things like the Library of Congress control number or the OCLC number. Those go in subfield W. So I've been talking about linking entries a lot throughout this whole class, and so now we'll just talk about them a little bit more. When you are creating the record for a new serial as a result of a major change, in order to link to the old record, you include a 780 in the new record. That means this publication continues this older one. In the old record, you put in a 785. That means this publication is continued by this new one. So in the record for the new title, you put the old title in a 780. And then, like I said, subfield X is for the ISSN, and subfields W are used for control numbers. And then the old record, you go back and add a 785 field with the new title and your ISSN and your control numbers if you have them. So just to make that a little bit more clear, here is an old record of African languages and cultures, which ceased and went on to be known as the Journal of African Cultural Studies. This new record is on the right. In the old record on the left, you put a 785 field that has the new title. And in the new record on the right, you put a 780 field that has the old title. So in this way, the two records are linked together. So anybody finding a record for one of them can understand that it either used to have a different title or that it now has a new different title. So those are just some things to keep in mind when you're closing out a record for a ceased publication.